Hello and welcome to Ali McLennan Art. Today I'm going to be voicing over how I created this blue dotted rock so hopefully you could create something like this yourself at home. If you do like this video please hit the thumbs up and feel free to subscribe and any comments appreciated. So first I start off with a moulded stone. I buy these from devondotting.com. All the links to the tools and bits are in the description below. I've painted it black and all of her rocks come with a centre point which is really handy to put your first dot down. So the first dot, make sure your rod's nice and straight and push down just gently to create the perfect circle. Then I just tap more white on. I don't push down with the rod, I just literally let the drops drip down to make a nice juicy, juicy round dot for the first one. I always wipe my tools as I go, always really handy to have a wet flannel or old towel on hand. Never leave acrylic to dry on your tools or your brushes. Then I go in my first row of dots, which I think of as a clock, so 12 o'clock, 6, 9 and 3. And then I eyeball to put a dot between in the middle of each of those. I try and take my time with this step, because if you get this first row of dots right, the rest of the rock flows really nicely. If you do make a mistake, you can always wipe it off and start again. I'm using Americana, uh, Deco Art Americana brand paints. I find the consistency just right, straight out of the bottle. Pop a little bit in the lid and you're ready to go. I'm using a whole bunch of their different blues today. I do find they get a bit sticky and tacky and stringy. Sometimes you need to pull that stuff off. You don't want that hanging off the end of your tools. It's actually really satisfying to pull it off. tools I'm using today, again they'll be in the description below. I'm going to start, I've used the white, the white dots were with the pink tool so I'm going to check the next size up tool which is I think is the green and I, I dot along the card on the bottom that I'm working on as I go just to check the sizes and the consistency of the paint before I commit to doing it on the rock. So the second row you're going to place each dot between each of the white dots on the first row and you just carry that on all the way out, going up a dot size, um, going to a different shade of blue. So my next tool is a blue one, same thing, next shade of blue, putting a dot between each of the dots on the previous row. Now I'm using the green tool, checking it on the card first and then going with the next row. Just keep going and just take your time. If you make a mistake, don't worry, the overall effect of the whole rock, you won't even notice it. We're artists at the end of the day, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm moving up to the acrylic rods, this is the smallest size one same principle again all the way around. Dotting as close as you can without touching the other dots. Next rod up, next blue, Oops, mind the camera. I found this ultramarine blue. It dried really, really dark. I wasn't sure how it was going to come out. Obviously, when the paint is wet, it does look different. But I sort that out later on. We just, we're experimenting. I have no plan. I'm just making this up. I'm going back around again with the same same um, succession of colours, so I'm going to go white, sea breeze, teal, ocean blue, all the way out to the edge. Take your time on the base layer because the second and third and fourth layers are much easier and quicker. And the 
final row, I'm using the blue tool, which we use the same sign dot on the top, all the way around. And once it's finished, I'm going to let that dry before I go in with a second layer. Here's the dried stone. As you can see, the ultramarine blue, it dried really, really dark. You can barely see it. So I'll, I'll fix that at some point. I'll put a lighter blue on there. I've mixed up a whole bunch of different colours of blue with these little pots. And get the most out of your paints, make them go further. You can just use white and one blue and you can create six new shades. So I'm just going over second layer, making contrasting colours, lighter blue on the dark blue, dark blue on the light blue. No particular plan. I decided to lighten those ones up and I'm going to lighten up the row with the dark blue. Then I'm putting the peacock teal on the white there and I really like the effect it gave with the circle, the white circle coming up from underneath. So I decided to continue that all the way around. Almost looks like bubbles. So that's our second layer and I'll let that dry again before I go on to the third layer. Now we're dry. I really like this bubble effect and I really wanted to try and create more contrast in the middle part, similar. So I decided to put in some white, pick out some more, more colours. Just keep layering. Have fun with it. See what happens. I find the more you layer as well, the more tactile the finished rock is. They feel really knobbly and nice. It's a bit of dark blue on that pale blue there. I've decided to lighten these ones up so that I can get the bubble effect on that row. The lighter colour underneath with the darker colour on top seems to pop more. So that's our third layer, let that dry. Oh, I noticed the dent from the little dot that marks the centre, so I decided to just dot again on top of that. Sometimes I'll do the centre dot three or four or five times, make it nice and big and round. So there's the next layer, more contrasting blues, keep going. Thought I'd add in some white, make it pop a bit more. Went a, went a bit wrong there, so just a wet cotton bud is perfect. Mop it up and keep going. As long as the bottom layer is dry, it's really easy to just quickly wipe away your mistakes and go again. I'm going to put a dark blue on top of this sea breeze. And I think the rock's coming together now. I thought I'd zhuzh it up a little bit more, a little bit of metallic silver. And I'm just popping this on two of the rows whilst the paint was still wet. And you get this lovely kind of pearly bead finish. Okay, that's it. I think I'm gonna stop fiddling with it now. I'm happy with how it turned out. I'll let it dry. 
Oh, and clean up any bits. There's a splash of silver there. You can touch up any bits, put a little bit of black on if there's any marks. Touch them up with a paintbrush. And then let it dry before I spray it with an acrylic seal. I really hope you like this video. And let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments.